Now Egypt remains a destination and transit point for refugees and asylum seekers. While most of them have come from Syria, the numbers fleeing conflict and persecution in sub-Saharan Africa has also grown in recent years. For VOA in Cairo, Sophia Christensen reports on one Somali woman using art therapy to help herself and other refugees move on. Aini Gal fled Somalia with her family in 2009 as government and regional forces battled Al-Shabaab. She flew to Egypt and was granted refugee status in 2011. The sound of firecrackers can still scare her. When we hear such, such a kind of, a, we remember all, a lot of what has happened. It reminds, you know, the sound of the bullets and the sound of the explosion. Just more than a third of the refugees and asylum seekers registered by the UNHCR in Egypt are of African origin, mostly from Sudan, Ethiopia, Eritrea, South Sudan and Somalia. Since 2014, Egyptian artist John Milad has been offering psychological support. He and his team work with NGOs across the country to organize dance classes, drawing sessions and theatre workshops for refugees. Well, uh, the idea of the art therapy in general is that you, you try to transform the negative uh, energy people have within, but either due to traumas or bad experiences they, they faced in their lives, and you try to provide a space where people can transform and to release this energy into something positive. Aini continues to paint and encourages those around her to do the same. This is my mother, my mother country, and this is where I live and all my parents is here. She completed her training as a trauma counsellor and now runs weekly art therapy sessions at a local school for Somali children. They picture many things. They picture how they want to be, what they want to be, what have passed. You know, even they, they are, you know, able to draw their past experience. A safe haven where the children can communicate their anxieties and reconcile with the past. Sophia Christensen for VOA News, Cairo.